In this video, I want to show you how we can use PowerPoint's presenter view in a Zoom meeting where we get to see our notes, the audience sees our slides, but we can see the participant videos and chat at the same time. And to do this, you need three screens. So what I've done is I've got my laptop, regular laptop. I've connected a second screen via the, just the regular HDMI into the adapter. And then I've connected a third screen. Now there are a number of different options for your third screen. If you have additional Thunderbolt ports, you can plug another monitor in. You can do uh, wireless through, through uh, AirPlay to an Apple TV. Or what I've done here is, is I'm showing you an example of using an iPad. So my iPad is connected as a third display using an app called Duet Display, D-U-E-T display.com. You can find out more information there. It is a paid app on the App Store, so it does cost some money, but it allows you to connect via the normal USB cable to your computer so that you can have this as a display. And so what I've done in the uh, display settings here, so if you look at display preferences, what I've done is in the arrangement, I've set up where my different displays are. So the display to my left here, when I click on it, you see the red, that's going to be where my videos of my participants in the meeting are and my chat. This is my normal laptop display. And then my third display over here, which is on my iPad. So I've moved them in the arrangement here so that they match what's on the desk. I have a Zoom meeting already running. So in my Zoom meeting, what I want to do is, first of all, uh, set it so that I get the videos separate from the actual Zoom controls. And the way you do that is in the Zoom um, preferences, uh, in the preferences here, what you can do is to make sure in the general you've set use dual monitors. Now, obviously, you have to do that before you start your Zoom meeting. So I've done that in advance. So that means the videos pop out and I just move them over to that particular uh, display over there. So the chat, I'm gonna click on chat and if you need to pop it out, you can do that. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna drag it over to this display as well, move the videos over. So now I have my chat and my videos over on that monitor. I want my presenter view on this main monitor because that's where I want to see my notes. That's where the webcam is. So that's what I want to be able to see. So I'm going to move back over here and into PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is on my slideshow ribbon, I'm going to set up slideshow and I'm going to set to make sure I select monitor three as where the slideshow is going to happen. Now it's by default automatic. That's letting PowerPoint pick it up, but I want to make sure I set it over there onto monitor three on the iPad because I'm not really gonna be looking at that. I see my slides in presenter view anyways. So I'll click okay. And now in my uh, Zoom meeting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share just that third monitor. So desktop three is what it's referred to in Zoom. So I'm gonna share that in the meeting. And then, now it's shared. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into PowerPoint and I'm gonna start up my slideshow. Notice I wanted the Zoom app here on my laptop because then I have all of my controls up at the top. So I'm going to start my slideshow and you'll notice what I have here is I have my presenter view. I've got my notes. I've got my slide, my upcoming build. I have my slides over there being sent to the Zoom meeting, the audience. That's all they see. And I have the chat and the video over here. So as I go through my presentation, I'm able to focus on delivering my presentation here, seeing my notes, talking about them. The audience is seeing my slides, but I can also keep an eye on the chat and the video, see people's reactions over there on my second display. My third display is just for the slides. I don't need to really even pay attention to it, but it allows you in a Zoom meeting to be able to see what you want, the video, the chat, and your notes in presenter view while the audience only sees the slides. Now you need a third screen because in PowerPoint, the presenter view is full screen, the slides are full screen and you can't change that. So you can't move them and then put the video and chat somewhere else on the display. And when you're done, you simply stop sharing to the, to the Zoom meeting, 
You can go to presenter view, escape out of presenter view. And now you're back to the regular uh, Zoom meeting the way, the way it would be. And so that's how you can use three screens in a Zoom meeting so that you can use PowerPoint's presenter view to see your notes, the audience sees the slides, and you get to see the video and the chat. You have options for the third screen. Look at what's gonna work for you. The reason I show you the iPad option is because for a lot of people, you might have that sort of device available and uh, it's easy to set up. It does cost a little money. The other thing is, is that you could also use an iPhone. So you don't really need it even that big. The phone is small, but the resolution is big enough so that the meeting participants see the slides, which is what you want them to see. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.